Okay, this is part two real quick. Um, just doing these back to back. I didn't show the extra deck, and I will show that right now, actually. I'm sorry about that. Alright, it's going to start out with uh, Magical Android. Um, level 5 tuner, 1 tuner, 1 non tuner, 600 life points for each psychic. This deck runs through uh, life points pretty decently, so Magical Android will get you those back. Uh, psychic Nightmare, you already know. I don't run them, I don't like to. It's, I don't like doing that whole effect thing. But, I mean, some people do. I don't. I like my extra deck for other things. Uh, Iron Chain Dragon, just to make them discard. Yeah. It makes them mill the top three when it affects damage, so it's always kind of nice to kill off monsters. Like I said, side deck. Uh, Ancient Fairy Dragon. It helps a lot, especially like if they have like, fairies or something like that. Pop him, kill the filled spell, you gain a thousand life points off you if you do, and then you can get Green Research Lab. I haven't used that one too much, but it's got possibilities. Natural Landois, because I don't have Barkeon or Natural Beast. Because I traded them. Yeah, I'm an idiot. Uh, Black Rose, just to clear the field. Psychic Life Transfer for life points. Double Stardust really helps a lot. I would have thrown Starlight Road in here, but ran out of room again. Um, Thought Ruler Archfiend, great card, really good actually for this deck. Blackwing Dragon for you know cost sometimes. I never used them like that. I just used this attack. Mistworm because I don't have Trish or Bionic. Um, cheap alternative, it works. You know, my favorite Hyper Psychic Blaster. This monster kills. Uh, you already know. I, ha I used to run two of them, but they get kind of hard to pull out without TG Librarian or Mind Master. Uh, Overmind Archfiend. Basically, you pull him out, you uh, pull out Hyper Psychic Blaster. Oh, I'm sorry. No. You pull out one of the lower psychics, and then throw in two tuners with it to even up. And then overmind Archfiend every turn, you can you can RP one monster in your graveyard, whatever it may be, it doesn't matter. Um, I think psychics. Uh, and then just remove it. And then when he goes, if you have an over another overmind, which I do in my uh, trade binder, uh, you can keep switching them out. And it becomes a loop, and there's not much they can really do about it, unless you know, they want to voice another card or two or three or four. Because uh, you can chain off this. Basically, though, great card. Um, I never really got it out much as once I had Psy Hyper Psychic Blaster people saw it and knew things were going to come to an end real quick. And of course Ultimate Axon Kicker. I just like the part where it says no card effects. Attack's not that great but really. I mean throw in a mist body and you're good. So basically that's the side deck. Uh, this is. I'm also going to show you the other options for this. Let's go with monsters. If they ever unban it, Psychics will come back. And come back hard. Mind Master. Great card. I wish they would bring it back. I only had fun with this deck for like two months as I built it. And then they banned it. Uh, Panda Borg. I never ran him. He's a level four. Um, he let You pay 800 life points. He lets you get another level four from your deck. Side Beast. I wouldn't run him. Honestly. It's not worth my time. Other cards. This deck works faster the other way it is. Psychic Emperor, if you want life points, level 6. Uh, when he's no more special summoned, you get 500 life points for every Psychic in your graveyard, which can add up fast. Telekinetic Shocker. Basically, he's a substitute. If a Psychic would die, you pay 500 life points and kill him instead. Again, you could, but I don't. No need in it. Mind Protector. This one has a little bit more options. Um, you pay 500 life points during each of your standby phases, and um, monsters with 2,000 or less cannot attack, except for psychics. So if they have anything under 2,000, they can't attack, and your psychics can. Only psychics. Um, Krebins, basically a negate attack. You pay 800? 800 life points. When you select it as an attack, you pay 800 life points and negates it. It's a level 2 tuner. Um, that one was a very close possibility. That one I would run. I've run it before. Uh, it works pretty decent. I just don't like it. It's two stars. Genetic Woman. Um, 
basically like Psychic Path. I don't like it. I don't like the cost. I don't like the effect. The attack isn't that great, and it's four stars. It works, but I never ran it. My deck always ran a lot faster, a lot more consistent with just that. It's a uh, thousand life points, and you, one of your RP monsters goes to your hand. All right, uh, traps. Let's do telepathic power. Basically, if a monster kills your monster, you pop this, it kills our monster, and then you get that life points off their attack. Yep, off their attack. So, not a bad card. I never got much play in it. My deck ran tight as it was. Psychic Rejuvenation. People do run these. I tried it once or twice. It does. It, it, it brings back a lot of life points really quickly. Um, it just depends what kind of deck you're running. If you're playing, like, cost-heavy or whatever. Psychers. All right, basically, same thing. Your Psychic gets attacked, destroyed. You destroy the attacking monster, and the, whatever level it is, whatever level your monster was, you times that by 300, and that's what they're taking damage. And pass damage. Basically, if you can roll a face of Psychic, you pop this, it RPs their monster for one turn, so it's gone, it's off the field, whatever it may be. Um, this is probably a card, I wanted to play this, but when I took apart my Psychic deck, I think this card is barely coming out. Um, good card, it has a lot of possibilities, I would have totally ran it. Um, I never got a chance to though, but definitely something to look into. Like I said, I don't have all the psychic stuff, but I, what I do have, I'll show you. Uh, teleport. Basically, like a, a Gore's effect, if they have a monster and you don't, you can special summon a psychic. Telekinetic charging cell. Great card, you can use this with Thought Ruler to just not pay for any life points whatsoever on one of your monsters. It's an equipped spell. Uh, it works really well, or Mind Master. It always worked really good with him, so you didn't have to pay as many life points. Because you would burn through him very quickly. Psychic Sword. Like, uh, Axe of Despair. It's an equip. Basically, whatever the difference in your life points and their life points is, it adds it up, up to 2,000. So, you could have up to 2,000 attack. Additional. So, throw this on top of, um... Ultimate Axon, and you have 4,900 attack. Which is a pretty decent beater. Throw that with Psychic Snail, and it can attack twice. A lot of fun, a lot of fun. Uh, side Station. Okay. You summon a monster, you pay 500 life points, and it gains 300 attack and one level. I never used it, I never needed it. Terraforming uh, for brain research. Future Glow for attack points. Basically, you RP one of your monsters, and whatever its attack is, you grow its level, whatever its level is, you times that by 200, and all your monsters, all your psychics will pick that attack. I think face ups. Yep, face ups. Alright, psychic impulse. I never used it. I tried it once, I didn't like it. Um, tribute a psychic, and it returns all cards to your opponent's hands to the deck, and then they draw three. I didn't like the draw three thing. ESP. Basically, it's a power boost, but it kind of kills off a bunch of monsters quick. I mean, you could use it. I never did. It has possibilities, and I think about it. But yeah. anyways, so uh, all face ups gain three hundred attack for each psychic monster removed from play. So basically, it has a jump uh, back and forth effect. All the monsters that are on the field, it gets three hundred attack for each, and then each monster gets that. Okay. At the end of the turn, though, all those monsters get RP'd. So. Yeah, you're going to be losing a lot of monsters really quick. But basically, that is the other side choice options. Um, that's the way I ran my deck. It ran pretty consistently. It ran pretty good. Um, I don't mind like selling, trading, whatever, because I got a bunch of these. I can get rid of them. But basically, these are your options. Um, let me know. So I think that should be it. So No? King of Two Liners out.